Hey, on today's video, folks, we got a good one for you today. We're going to be talking about 10 different products, and these 10 different products could last you a very long time if you follow the right procedures in doing these products and storing these products. Some of these products you don't have to do much with. Some of them you do. You, the light is what is your enemy between light, moisture, and heat in this whole scenario. And we're going to be covering all that today. Don't you want to learn about what you could be buying right now with your hard-earned money and what you need to be putting away so that if something happens that the shizzle does hit the fizzle, you get what I'm saying? You have a little bit of something put away for you and your family. So let's get going on this video. Number one is honey. Now we all know about honey, right? It's known for its incredible incredible long shelf life i mean very long shelf life right honey can remain edible for centuries if you store it properly the natural sugars and the acid of the honey create a basically inhospitable environment for bacteria and other microorganisms they just can't live there you know i mean to store your honey you want to keep it in a cool place a dark place in your home you know, tightly sealed and everything else. And over time, maybe your honey might become crystallized, but don't worry about that. All you have to do is warm up a little bit of water, put the honey in that, and the warmness will turn the crystallization right back into that sweet, lovely taste that we all love. White rice is number two. Now with your white rice, I have done a lot of videos and stuff. I talk about white rice all the time. And why is that? Because white rice, out of the bag, right in the bag and everything else, you have a shelf life of around 8 to 10 years when stored properly. But if you kick it up a notch and you store it in Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers, it can last up to 30 years under the right conditions. This is because it has been polished and removing the husk and the brawn and the germ, reducing its oil content, makes it last for a very long time. You can store your rice in airtight containers and things of this nature, but to get the maximum out of all this, you're going to want to do the Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. Beans. Now we're not talking canned beans. We're talking dried beans. And everybody knows about dried beans. You've seen them in the store and everything else. There are different ways that you have to make sure you know how to handle and prepare and prep your dry beans because some of them, if you do not follow the directions accordingly, can make you very sick. But dried beans are a staple in long-term food storage just like rice is because they are rich in protein and fiber and something that we all need in an emergency type situation. While they can last for two to three years in a pantry just on the shelf in the bag they came in, if you do take and you store those in a Mylar bag with oxygen absorbers, you will get 30 plus years out of those dried beans. So if you store them right, you'll have the benefit for a lifetime. Number four would be whole wheat grains. Now whole wheat grains, unlike refined grains, still have their bran and the germ. They haven't been all crushed down yet. All right, providing an excellent source of dietary fiber and other nutritional values. If it's stored correctly, whole grains can last for around 10 years, give or take. But if you store them in a cool, dry location, again, using those Mylar bags that I've been talking about with the oxygen absorbers, you're going to push about 30 years. Canned meats is number five. Canned meats like chicken and tuna and ham can last for several years. They provide a good source of protein and can have a use in a variety of different meals that you can make in any emergency situation with a lot of the goods that we're talking about today. You keep your canned meats in a cool, dark place and be sure to rotate your stock to use the oldest cans first and make sure that you know, you're doing different things and you're following the proper procedures you'll have these for quite a long time. Number six, powdered milk. Yes, the good old powdered milk. 
Now I know we all just don't like that very much. You know, maybe as a kid you had it depending on your age. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But powdered milk can last up to 20 years when it's stored properly. It's a good source of essential vitamins and minerals. And it can be rehydrated for drinking or cooking. It's a beautiful thing. You store your powdered milk in a cool, dry place and its original packaging or in a food grade plastic or glass container with a tight seal. I would also say that if you do put those in those Mallard bags with those oxygen absorbers I've been talking about, you're going to bump up the time a little bit longer. Number seven, some of you may have heard of this and some of may have not. And this is a lovely food that's called hardtack. This is a type of a long lasting cracker slash biscuit made from flour and water and sometimes they would even add a dash of salt. Hardtack was made famous by the military way back in the days. Long time ago, folks. And it can last for decades if it's kept dry. Moisture is its biggest enemy. So in that case, you want to just make sure you keep it in a cool, dark, dry place. Number eight is dehydrated fruits and vegetables. Dehydrating removes the water content from the food, almost to the point where you're doing the freeze dried, but not quite. Let's face it, a lot of us can't afford three or four thousand dollars for a freeze dryer, so we have to do the dehydration part. And it draws out that water content from the food, making it less susceptible to spoilage. That's why it's so very important to make sure that if you're dehydrating anything, you dehydrate it down to just about nothing. There can't be anything left in it. When sealed and stored properly, dehydrated foods can last 10 years or more. If you use a vacuum sealed bag or if you use the oxygen absorbers with the Mylar bags, any type of an airtight container, um, glass is okay, but if you store it in glass, it just has to be put away in a dark area. No light. Light is very bad. Salt. Salt is a mineral, so it doesn't spoil. It can be used for flavoring, preserving other foods, and even for medical purposes. Salt has a ton of stuff. You can use it for cleaning and everything else. Salt should be stored in an airtight container in a cool, dry place. So there are so many different things that you can do with salt. It is just amazing. Number 10 on this list now. Here we go, folks. Powdered eggs. Powdered eggs can last between 5 to 10 years when properly stored. They provide a source of protein and can be used in baking or re rehydrating to make scrambled eggs or omelets. Like powdered milk, store powdered eggs in a cool dry place in a sealed container. I would highly suggest the Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers if you want to bump it up a notch and get more time out of it. Remember, storage conditions will greatly impact the shelf life of any of these foods or any of the foods that you are putting away to begin with that are even not even on this list. The best conditions are typically a cool, dark, dry place without extreme temperature fluctuations. It's also a crucial to package food properly. You have to make sure that you're following proper food methods and everything else. Here, I'm going to throw in some additional tips on how to store all the products I just covered. Honey, no need for refrigeration or freezing. Period. All right, honey stays liquid and consumable at room temperature. That's something you can just leave on the counter and forget about it. Just make sure the lid is on tightly and sealed to avoid any moisture that gets in there because that's what's going to destroy it. White rice, airtight packaging and mylar bags with oxygen absorbers will protect the rice from insects and rodents. And it's also best to store rice in a cool, dry, dark place. Beans, dried beans should be stored in mylar bags with oxygen absorbers to protect them from insects and to remove any oxygen that could cause the beans to go bad or spoil on you. Whole wheat grains, it is crucial to store grains in a cool, dry, dark place. Hands down, it says, if you can't do that, don't even buy them because they're going to go bad. You got to keep them away from pests. Storing them in a Marlar bag with oxygen absorbers is ideal, especially if you can throw them into a five-gallon bucket. Canned meats. 
Ensure the integrity of the can is maintained at all times. You have to check this stuff periodically, you know, once a month or something like that. You know, if it's not dented, if it's not bulging or rust or anything else, you're going to be good to go on your canned goods for a very long time past that Best Buy date. All right, powdered milk, it's also stored best in original packaging, tightly sealed. However, if you need to repackage it, use food grade containers that can block out the light. Hardtack, you store it in an airtight container away from moisture. It also is a good idea to check it periodically for like weevils or other types of insects that might have got in there and you may not even know it. Dehydrated fruits and vegetables. All right, you want to store those in a vacuum sealed bag or containers. You can do this on the cheap side, making sure that they're completely dry before packaging to avoid mold growth. If you do see any mold or anything else, it has to be thrown away. Hands down, don't take any chances. You don't want to get sick or make your family sick. Powdered eggs, you want to store them in their original packaging or a food grade container that can be tightly sealed. Keep it in a cool, dry, dark place and they'll last for a very, very long time, very many years. Always keep an eye on your stored foods. Inspect them periodically, you know, for signs of spoilage or pest infestation and use them regularly to ensure that you are rotating your stock and maintaining a fresh supply. Good organization skills will help you ensure using older items first, which is very important, before the newer ones. Preventing unnecessary waste. Consider dating and marking your items when you store them to keep track of their age. In the end, these foods offer a combination of nutritional value, versatility, and longevity that make them the ideal for long-term emergency preparedness. Properly storing and maintaining, they can offer you and your family an inviolable resource in emergency situations and putting food on the table when the shizzy hits the fizzy. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You all stay safe, keep prepping, and stay tuned for more videos coming your way. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.